it out, check it out, check it out, check it out now. Catch me tonight, we had you go, baby. Talented South African rapper, aka, was about to release his fifth studio album before his precious life was cut off abruptly. Dubai, and we're on the way. Baba Mania, let's go. The feline Versace hit maker passed away tragically on Friday, February 10, after he was shot and killed at a popular night spot in Doban, South Africa. According to eyewitnesses, the celebrated rapper was standing outside a popular restaurant, Wish, on Florida Road, Doban, when he was approached by two armed men that shot him six times at close range around 10.15 pm. AKA's friend and former manager, Tebelo Tibbs Motuane, who was with him, was not spared. The celebrated chef was also shot. Sadly, all efforts to resuscitate the rapper and his friend were not enough to keep them alive. Despite prayers from fans, AKA was billed to release his new album, Mass Country, on February 27, 2023, and was declared gone moments after. In a press release shared on AKA's Instagram page, his parent, Tony and Lynn Forbes confirmed his shocking, sad passing. They appealed to fans to give them space to grief as they await an update from the Doban Police Department. According to reports, the multi-award-winning rapper, who recently hit 35, was in Doban to perform at a nightclub as part of his birthday celebration. AKA, also known as Super Mega or Bova, was only a few hours away from his performance when the unfortunate incident happened. Since the news went viral, the whole of Africa has been at a standstill, with millions of fans and African entertainers sending their condolences and tributes. While still grieving, many fans have pointed out that the rapper may still be alive if he hadn't shared his location on social media shortly before his tragic end. Who is AKA? Does his sad person have anything to do with sharing his location on social media? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Kenan Jared Forbes, better known as AKA, is not just another entertainer in South Africa but a multi-award winning rapper, songwriter, singer, audio engineer, actor and record producer who has proven his talent with back-to-back -back hits. The 35-year-old rapper was born on January 28, 1988 and raised in Cape Town, South Africa where he would kickstart his music career in 2002. AKA started a band named Entity alongside two friends, Vice Vasa and Greyhound. After a few years of promoting their sound, the band got nominated for a Kora Award in the Best African Hip Hop category. But AKA didn't want to find out if the band could do even better. In 2006, the talented songwriter studied sound engineering and later co founded a music production company, the IV League. Fast forward to 2009. The rapper rebranded fully into a solo artist, releasing his first solo singles, In My Walk, I Do, and Mistakes. But it was not until 2010 when he released the hit single, Victory Lap, of his debut studio album, Alter Ego, that he gained fame. In less than a decade after, the talented musician had become an African rap giant, with back-to-back -back hit songs including Fela in Versace, All Eyes on Me, Baddest, Jika, the Saga, Congratulate, and Ron Josie. With several other collaborations with heavyweight singers like Anati and Bonaboy, aka boasts many gold certified songs and awards, including Best Collaboration, Song of the Year, Video of the Year, Most Digital Sales, and of course, South Africa Most Valuable Artist. Despite Super Mega's blazing career, it was threatened many times with controversies. But regardless of these damning controversies, AKA refused to let them shape or define his music career. The rapper has gone on to release several hit singles and was planning to release his fifth studio album titled Mass Country before tragedy broke again. Sadly, this has been put on indefinite hold. According to reports, the award-winning rapper and his friend, Tebelo Beats Motuane, were standing outside a popular restaurant, Wish on Florida Road, around 10.15 pm when two armed men gunned them down. 
The police in their statement said the victims were allegedly approached by two armed suspects who walked to them from across the street and shot them at close range. The feline Versace hitmaker was in Durban to perform at a popular nightclub, Hugo, as part of his 35th birthday celebration. A super hyped aka was all over social media, sharing updates of the event alongside his location with fans. Some of the last photos he shared on Instagram showed lively scenes as the rapper celebrated with a full table of friends. You go, let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Wherever I go, you go! Earlier in the day before meeting his Waterloo, the all eyes on me crew now was in the area to get a haircut and was leaving the restaurant along the same entertainment district when the sad incident occurred. Sadly, Despite a quick response from paramedics, all efforts to resuscitate him and his former manager, now friend, proved abortive. Their demise was confirmed hours later by AKA's parents, Tony and Lynn Forbes, in a statement on the rapper's Instagram page. The statement reads in part, It is with extreme sadness that we acknowledge the passing of our beloved son. To us, Kenan Jared Forbes was a son, brother, grandson, nephew, cousin and friend. Most importantly, father to his beloved daughter, Cairo. To many, it was aka Super Mega, Bova and the many other names of affection his legion of fans called him by. Our son was loved and he gave love in return. AKA parents also asked that fans keep them in their prayers and begged for compassion, space and time to grieve their loss as a family. Also reacting, the Durban police spokesperson revealed that a chase for the attackers, who reportedly fled on foot, is on the way. The suspects are reported to have fled from the scene on foot. We will be investigating two counts of murder with hopes of finding the culprit, the spokesperson said. The motive of the shooting is still unknown as the police continue investigating if AKA shooting was premeditated. The motive of the killing has not yet been established as yet and we do not want to speculate on what could have caused the shooting. Our investigations hopefully will reveal what uh, caused the shooting. In South South Africa, many people are licensed to carry firearms for personal protection. However, this has given rise to a shooting epidemic in the country which has one of the world's highest murder rates. AKA, who was 35 at the time of his passing, is survived by his parents, sibling, and a seven-year-old daughter, Cairo Ulwetu Forbes. Since the sad news went viral, South Africa and the African entertainment industry have been at a standstill. Many entertainers have been paying tributes to the famous rapper. In contrast, fans have begun speculating that his death may be linked to the passing of his fiance, Nellie, or may have happened because he carelessly shared his location on social media. Here are a few reactions. South African singer Nandi Madida said, Wishing your families and friends healing and comfort during this very difficult time. Also sharing photos of AK and Tebelo Tibbs Motuane, she added, This is so surreal. For all the monumental moves you have made for our industry, we thank you, gents. Your gifts, raw talent and impact insp inspired and transformed many lives across borders for the better. My heartfelt condolences and prayers for your families and your loved ones during such a heart-wrenching time. May God cover them with his strength, peace and comfort. May your souls rest in eternal peace. Rest easy, kings. South African actress Gail Mabalane thanked AKA for his music in a post on Instagram. She wrote, Oh Kienan, your story was unfolding, with your best still to come. I am so sorry that your life was cut short. What a tragedy. My heart goes out to your beautiful family. May God cover them. Thank you for your music. Through it, your legacy lives on forever. Rest easy, brother. Ugandan rapper Eddie Kenzo also shared a rare photo of himself and the late rapper on Facebook with the caption, RIP AKA. A Twitter user tweeted that AKA sharing of location was his nemesis. She wrote, in 2021, AKA's girl Nelia Temba fell from a hotel in Cape Town and died. Hotel staff claimed they heard argument from their room, but AKA claimed she jumped. Police dismissed the case. She is a Doban native from a wealthy home. AKA visited Doban and posted his location on IG. The posting of your location on IG for everyone, and especially celebrities in particular, will always come with these kinds of risks. 
Haters and bad belly people are lurking and scheming all the time. Really scary stuff, to be honest. Also reacting, another user believed it might not be a coincidence aka was shot in Durban. The user tweeted, Nelia was from Durban and we still don't know what transpired. It might not be a coincidence. Hashtag just saying. RIP Mega. One of the late singer's fans was captured outside the restaurant playing his music. Fans have been flocking to the site in the past hours to drop flowers in tribute to the late rapper, aka father, Tony Forbes, was also captured at the site of the sad incident dropping flowers for his son. What a tragic loss. What do you think about the sad passing of talented South African rapper, aka? Would you say the shooting was premeditated? Do you agree it's connected to his late fiancé's passing? Lastly, is this sad incident a warning call for celebrities to tighten their security? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.